We know from experience that setting up access permissions in Odoo was quite a challenge. We recently implemented a project in which the client required very special permissions based on sales teams or business units. This is the organizational chart that the client sent us. Well, I have already changed a couple of names. The curious requirement was that the business units or sales teams could see only their own documents, meaning that Pablo, who was the leader of this team, can see all the documents of his own team, and Laura, who was a team member, can see her own documents as well as the documents of the team. Additionally, they can see their own products and not the products of others, their own clients and not the clients of others, and the same goes for suppliers and their own rates, meaning that each team. For example, the team members can see only their own pricing, their own products, their own customers or suppliers. And as you know, configuring that in Odoo is quite a challenge. So, we are going to present a module. After searching for quite a while for a solution, we found one, and I really loved it. I loved it because the work of configuring is easy for us as implementers, but above all for the client who will ultimately be left with the configuration of their own permissions, it was a piece of cake. It was really very simple. The module consists of for modules, so you can purchase just this one, which is Simplify Access Management, or you can buy them all together. Buying them all together is wonderful. The price is worth it. It really is worth it, if it's a company with a lot of complexity. The ability to set permissions so that some can see certain fields or items while others cannot, etc., is worth the price. The truth is, it is worth it. Let's briefly explain the functionalities of the module because, as I have told you, it is truly wonderful. So, this video is a presentation of the only one access management module that you can purchase with the link below and with a 10% discount that applies with the code we will leave in the description. We will leave the link to purchase the module and the code to obtain a 10% discount in the description. We are going to explain the functionalities, well, some actually, of the module. The module is this one, only one access management, it's this one here. It's very simple, honestly, any user with a little intuition can configure the module. I am going to create a new rule. It works based on rules. I am going to set amazing permissions because it really is amazing. I'm going to save it. I'm going to apply this configuration or those permissions to this user who is Mark. Mark Demo. Here I have Mark as a user in dark mode. We are going to review or verify the configuration of the module. Everything we are going to do will apply to this user. In this database, we will start by hiding the menu, but first it can be applied to a group. Here we can create a user group, for example, in my case it was security. Here, I would add the users that belong to this group. So when we go to the rules, this rule can be applied to a particular user or to several users, or it can be applied to an entire group. We could apply it to the group I just created. We could apply all these rules that we are going to configure to be read-only, meaning all records will be read-only. It applies without a company. Here we could apply it to different companies. In my example, I will apply it to Mark. I could apply this rule. What we are doing is setting up a permission rule, applying it to all internal users by default. Apply to all portal users by default. Disable the downloader mode, meaning that the downloader mode cannot be activated. I'm going to leave it like this now. What we are going to hide in the module, especially in sales and inventory, is that in the sales module we will hide this report, and in the inventory module as well. Both report menus. So here where it says hide menu, we're going to look for, I think it's sale, and we're going to hide the one that says reporting, this one here. We're going to select it and then inventory. We're also going to hide this one. In this case, height menu, we're going to hide these two menus in sales and inventory. Let's see if it's true. 
Let's refresh this tab. Indeed, the menu for Reports has disappeared and in Sales as well. In the Model Access functionality, what we're going to limit for Mark is where contacts we're going to hide. This button again, meaning he won't be able to create a new contact. So we're going to choose Contact, and here we're going to activate this. Hide Create. Here there are a ton of options. We could hide the Edit button or the Edit option, Delete, Archive, Duplicate, Print, etc. It's really amazing. We're not going to waste much time. We could hide some reports, actions, views, etc. For now, in the contacts model, we're going to hide the ability to create. Let's connect the tab and boom. The create button has been hidden for me, so Mark doesn't have permission to create a contact. For the file access option, we're going to limit Mark so he can't see an inventory, products. We're going to restrict him from seeing these two fields, the sale price and the cost. We're going to hide these two fields. So for file access, we're going to say the model is product and the field is price. Sale price is invisible and so is cost. Let's see if it's true. We're going to refresh and boom. The cost fields disappeared. Obviously, we could hide these fields too, but well, that's the idea. Let's first look at domain access and then file conditional access right now. Mark can see all the contacts I have in that database. There are 57 contacts. At the level of each contact, a salesperson can be assigned. Let's assign Mark Demo to two or three contacts. To Abigail, to Anita, and one more, to Audrey. For now, there are a few contacts that have Mark as the salesperson. Let's group by salesperson to see how many there are. There are five contacts that have Mark as the salesperson. So, what I want to do is limit user Mark so he only sees his own contacts. So in domain access, I'm going to add a line. I'm going to put contacts. I'm going to let him create an update, but he can't delete. Apply a filter that says the seller is Mark Dem. That is, he can only see his own records, in this case, the contacts that have Mark as the seller. Let's save. Let's update. And now he can see all the paying users, meaning the Odoo users and also his own contacts. The functionality of file conditional access is something amazing, so that if Mark creates a new quote, he can see all the contacts and the entire price list. Let's limit it so he can only see the furniture price list and only his own contacts. So in file conditional access, we're going to set the model to sales order, apply domain. And for domain file, it's the client. The rule is that the seller is Mark. We are going to create a new model. We provide a domain, given for prices. And the rule is that the price list, price list name, contains furniture. So, in the customer field, he can see his own customers. And in the price list field, he can only see the price list for furniture. Let's see if that's true. Get a new quote. We are with the user mark. Here he can only see the contacts and the Odoo users. Here they are, and in the price list, he can only see his own price lists. Now, if Mark goes, for example, to where products are, price lists, here he can see the entire price list. Let's create a permission, so he can only see office furniture. This goes in domain access, we're going to say it in. In price lists, he can create update, provided that he saves and closes. I'm going to update. So. With Mark's user button, and also the other information tab. Those two buttons, email send and confirm, and the tab, or the other information tab. So in the Dale model, we are going to hide the email send button, and confirm. In the other information tab, you can't send by email or confirm. Ah! 
the other information tab is gone. As I was saying, to not drag out the story too much, it's really amazing and very easy to use, meaning that any user with minimal knowledge of Odoo can set up access permissions. So here we could add, according to the model, filters, groups, etc., hide the chatter, send messages from the chatter, and at a global level, in the database, hide or conceal the chatter in all records, hide or conceal sending messages, etc., even, disable, login for certain, users. Here we leave you again the code for the 10% discount. It really is an amazing module that truly covers all permission needs, no matter how complicated they are. So, on this Terabits website, that's the module. It's available from version 13 to 18, and with the discount code we provided, it can be purchased.